Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Ajuno Cigars. I can hardly believe it. You can hardly believe it. Everyone can hardly believe it. But 2023 is all but over. On to a new year. But before we go on to a new year, I want to focus on some of the great moments of this past year, 2023, and all the great cigars that I have had the privilege of reviewing, enjoying many, many times, and have finally narrowed it down to my top 10. Do this every year, and I'm not gonna stop anytime soon. So without further ado, let's dive right in to the Jonas Cigars Top 10 Cigars of 2023. As many of you probably know by now, I am a big Nicaraguan tobacco fan, and one of the best blenders in the game when it comes to Nicaraguan puros is none other than Dion Giolito, and his brand Illusione came out with an excellent cigar this year, the Singulare Origin. This is a six and three quarters by 48 straight Parejo Churchill, and it is just a fantastic, well-balanced cigar that just tastes so very characteristically Illusione. Illusione is just renowned for just bringing the wonderful Nicaraguan punch of flavor that uh, we've all come to love as cigar lovers. And uh, this is just a great testament to how good of a blender he is when it comes to Nicaraguan puros. I really enjoyed this one. Scored a great 91 points. Uh, originally, I rated this cigar, I believe, at a 90 when I did the first YouTube review for it. I have since smoked quite a few of these over the course of this year and have summarily increased the score to 91. So 91 points for the Illusione Singulare Origin. It is the number 10 cigar for Juno Cigars in 2023. Our next entry comes from Rainier Lorenzo's brand HVC, which of course stands for Havana City, Cuba, which is his, of course, hometown. Uh, he now has his own factory that he opened up in Esteli, Nicaragua, and he is making some fantastic cigars out of that little factory. The next one on this list, the number nine cigar, is the HVC Hot Cake Golden Line. I went, of course, with the Laguito number five. I don't know why I said, of course, it doesn't make much sense. It's actually a, a Vitola that I don't go to a lot. It's kind of a beefy Toro, six by 54. But this one is just a phenomenal flavor bomb, not your typical Connecticut shade grown cigar. Featuring Nicaraguan fillers and binder with an Ecuadorian shade grown wrapper. This cigar is a follow-up to the original hot cake, which he did some time ago. He also did a Pravada exclusive, which he called the hot chocolate cake. And now his first ever shade grown wrap cigar that he's ever done for HVC, the hot cake golden line, wonderful, flavorful cigar. Expect a lot of sweetness, spice, cream, and buttery notes. I certainly love this cigar and will come back to it often. Scored a great 91 points, making it our number nine entry for 2023. So Skip Martin of Romacraft celebrated his 50th birthday recently. And to celebrate this great milestone, he released a cigar, which literally means someone who's in their 50s. And this is the Quinquagenario by Romacraft Cigars. And it is like most Romacraft cigars, kind of an understated branding. Very simple band work on the cigar, but very, very tasty. Like most Romacraft cigars, full of flavors, full of nuance, full of great balance. This is a 5x50 Robusto featuring Dominican fillers and binder with an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. Great notes of red pepper spice, cherry wood, milk chocolate, and lots of other things to boot. I really enjoyed this one, and it's the first time I think Romacraft has entered the Jono Cigars Top 10. This is the Quinquagenario, the number eight cigar for Jono Cigars for 2023, coming in at 91 points. Cavalier Cigars, started by the great French blender Sebastien Decopé. Hope I pronounced his name right. He has made some great cigars in the past. I really have been enjoying Cavalier Cigars over the last couple years, and their latest entry is probably their 
best in my opinion, and that is the Cavalier Inner Circle Domain Rouge. This is a 6x52 straight Parejo Toro featuring Honduran and Paraguay long fillers, a Honduran binder and wrapper, a lot of Honduran tobacco in this blend, and it has some great flavor nuances. The one thing that I remember standing out in a big way were these wonderful apricot preserves that you get right about the midway point of the cigar. Beautiful balance, great textures, great smoke time, all around great experience by uh, Sebastian Decopé and Cavalier Cigars. This is the number seven cigar for Juno Cigars 2023, coming in at 91 points. Luciano Morales, a great blender based in Nicaragua, working with his daughter and a lot of other talented people. He has his own factory down there and he had a great story this year at PCA with someone who came from China nicknamed Panda. And so we have the Y Panda by Luciano Cigars. This is the Corona Gorda Vitola 5 and 5 eighths by 46 ring gauge, featuring long fillers from Nicaragua double binders, one from the Ecuador region with a Sumatra seed and a Brazilian Araparaca binder, plus an Ecuadorian Corojo 98 wrapper, an elegant looking stick, beautiful flavors, excellent balance, some great butterscotch and caramel notes can be found in this one among many other things. Of course, there's too many for me to list or even remember when I'm doing a video full of 10 different cigars. So forgive me if I can't give you all the details, but I do have a review on this cigar on my channel, so feel free to check a look at that review. And by the way, I will be putting links for all the cigars that I feature in this uh, video in the description below. So viewer fear not, there are going to be resources available for you to cross-reference what I'm talking about. Why Panda, fantastic blend by Luciano Cigars. It is the number six cigar for 2023, coming in again at 91 points. Now we are getting into the top five, and this is when we really start getting to the upper echelons of the year for cigars. And the first one in the top five, coming in, of course, at number five, comes courtesy of Isaiah Santana. And for those of you who are in the know, you know who he is. For those of you who don't, this is one amazing blender, a legend in our midst. His brand, Flor de Crossier, has been making probably some of the best under the radar cigars for those who are nerds like myself have discovered Flor de Crossier for some time now and have enjoyed the numerous blends that he has put out over the years. This is his latest called the Lumina. I really favor the Corona Gorda Vitola. <laughs> Go figure another Corona Gorda on this list. This is a blend that features Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers with a Dominican binder and a absolutely gorgeous Ecuadorian Habano Claro wrapper. One of the most visually stunning cigars when it comes to wrapper quality that I have seen in some time. It is virtually flawless and the smoke is absolutely elegant and pristinely balanced. I really did like how this cigar performed in the Corona Vitola. He does have a Lonsdale Vitola uh, or kind of a Corona Extra 6x48. That one was pretty good uh, and had a lot of great characteristics, but I really thought the blend shined in the Corona Gorda Vitola. So that is the number five entry for 2023, scoring an excellent 92 points. Next up on our list comes from a newer brand, and it's a brand that I'm becoming more and more enamored with the more I smoke their blends. But my favorite to this day is probably the first one that I ever smoked, and this is coming from Apostate Cigars. I have gotten to know Brandon of Apostate Cigars fairly well over this past year, have interviewed him a couple times and caught up with him at PCA. Their second blend that they ever released was one called the Deseret, which in Mormon scripture translates to the honeybee and that's exactly what this cigar kind of resembles it's looking like a honeybee with some bee stripes on the cap and foot and a little bee stinger right there on the cap also this is a medium full body cigar with lots of nutty chocolatey espresso laden nuances absolutely decadent dripping with sultry flavors that just don't quit excellent balance and textures throughout as well I just, every time I smoked this cigar, it seemed to get better. Uh, the first time I smoked it, I was interviewing Brandon and I was a little bit distracted, but I couldn't help but notice, hey, this cigar really does have a lot to it. Smoked it a second time and I couldn't believe how good it was. Third time I actually sat down and did a short review for the channel and it was the best I could remember. 
This coming in at the number four spot with 93 points, the Apostate Cigars Deseret. Earlier this year, Provada Cigar Club started a line of cigars called the Spirits line. The idea being they crafted cigars that were supposed to be great pairings for different spirits that many people gravitate towards. They have one for bourbon, they have one for cognac, they have one for scotch, they have one to for tequila, and one for rum. The one that I was absolutely floored by and comes in as the number three cigar for this year is the Pravada Spirits Cognac. This is made at Tabacalera Perla, which for those of you who are Paul Stulak fans know that's the factory that makes all of Paul Stulak's brands. And I am a big fan of Paul Stulak's blends. This cigar is a dessert cigar delight. Wonderful nuances of great dessert flavors. I fell in love with this cigar from the very first go. I was lucky enough to be uh, granted this cigar to review as a blind review for Cigar Public and uh, yeah, was very quick to buy a bunch more because this thing is just fantastic. Really enjoyed this one. This is a 6x50 straight Parejo Toro featuring long fillers and binder from Nicaragua with a nice dark sultry Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Expect a nice medium full body in texture with great full flavors and a moderate nicotine effect. I absolutely love this cigar and will smoke it often in the future. This is the number three cigar for Juno Cigars, the Pravada Spirits Cognac. Last year, Foundation Cigars took the crown of the number one cigar for 2022 for Jonas Cigars. This year, they'll just have to settle for number two. This is the Foundation Cigars Metapa in Maduro in Corona Gorda. Again, the Corona Gorda Vitola, as you haven't, if you haven't noticed by now, I really gravitate to that Vitola. I think that's where a lot of the blends really shine and show the best flavor experience in all the other Vitolas. There are, of course, some exceptions, but this is one that really holds true to that rule. Matapa, of course, refers to the hometown of the poet in question, whose uh, face graces the band on this cigar. A wonderful full body experience with a great draw, ample smoke output, and a really nice balance of flavors on the draw and retrohale. There is, of course, much like the Old Mac, a Claro version of this blend, and I have had both. I just kind of go for this Maduro version of the cigar, just a little bit more than the Claro. So uh, that's the one that takes the number two spot. The Foundation Cigars, Metapa in Maduro in Corona Gorda, scoring 93 points on the Jonas Cigar scale. Before we get into the final and highest ranked entry on this list, there are some honorable mentions that I would like to put forward before we go on to number one. The first honorable mention for 2023 comes from J.C. Newman and the Angel Cuesta in Toro. Just an absolutely gorgeous cigar to look at. A beautiful Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper on the outside. And uh, wouldn't you know, it's an undisclosed blend beyond the wrapper. Uh, there's a lot of band work on this, but there was a lot of care taken into making the presentation of this cigar uh, top-notch because this is a arguably the best cigar that... J.C. Newman has put out in some time. I'm a big fan. I actually did a full review of the Salamonas Vitola, and while that one was still very good, I just thought that the Toro was a little bit better in the flavor profile and balance. And so that is going to be the honorable mention to come first, the Angel Cuesta by J.C. Newman in Toro. The second honorable mention that I would like to put on this list comes from Room 101 and their 14th anniversary. Room 101 has been doing anniversary cigars for some time to commemorate their founding in 2009. Uh, Matt Booth conscripted the talents of the great A.J. Fernandez to craft this Nicaraguan pearl. This is a 6x52 straight Toro, straight Parejo Toro, and uh, the one thing that I have to mention, there is quite a big blast of black pepper in the first quarter inch of this cigar. So user be warned. Once you get past that, it's a great dessert cigar. Lots of great chocolatey, uh, sweet flavors that are very, very enjoyable. Definitely enjoyed this cigar. It is certainly worth some attention and it is the second honorable mention for 2023, the Room 101 14th anniversary. We have another honorable mention. This comes courtesy of Crux Cigars. This is the Crux Epicure in Habano. I did a full review of the Corona Gorda Vitola of this cigar, and um, in uncharacteristic fashion, I actually prefer a different Vitola for this blend than the Corona Gorda. This is the Robusto, straight Parejo 5x50, and this is one of the best 
cigars to have with coffee that I've had in a very, very long time. Great balance, savory, sweet, earthy, nutty, absolutely delicious. Crux, I thought, really did knock it out of the park with this Habano blend. This is a Nicaraguan Pearl, and uh, I absolutely love the way that this one turned out. Scoring another 90 points, making it the third honorable mention for 2023, the Crux Epicure Habano in Robusto. There is one more honorable mention that I would like to discuss, and this comes from the Kellner Boutique Factory. They did a special project with Provada Cigar Club to honor the late Yopito Kellner, and this is the Yopito. This is a very, very special cigar, a Corona Vitola, not Corona Gorda, Corona, five and a quarter by 44, a nice, elegant, petite cigar featuring Dominican long fillers and binder with an authentic African Cameroon wrapper. This is very, very rare. Most Cameroons that we get nowadays are actually grown in Ecuador. They're, they're Cameroon seed, but they are not grown in Africa, the actual country of Cameroon. They are grown in Ecuador. This one actually is grown on the Meritfell family's farm in Cameroon, Africa, which of course does lend itself to a pretty hefty price tag. These MSRP right about $25 a cigar, but the biggest part of that price is that wrapper leaf. That is the single biggest expense to making this cigar. And uh, it's a very, very unique wrapper. Uh, pretty delicate, kind of rustic looking, but it's very, very brittle and has lots of delicate flavor nuances, vanilla, florals, sweet fruits coming through. And the last time I had the cigar, I was noticing sort of like a peaty scotch sort of flavor that was just kind of unexpected. Very unique experience, very well balanced, and I think it's a great tribute to Joe Pito Kellner's legacy. This is the fourth honorable mention for 2023, the Kellner Boutique Factory with the Provada Cigar Club, Joe Pito. And now the moment everyone in the world has been waiting for, the last entry, the number one spot, the top dog for 2023 for Juno Cigars. All right, let's just calm down and focus on the cigar. The number one cigar for 2023 comes from Warp Cigars, and it is none other than the Black Mango. The Black Honey got a lot of press and a lot of anticipation, and I did review that cigar, but I think the Black Mango really was the gem of the year. This is a five and a half by 46 Corona Gorda featuring almost exclusively Nicaraguan grown Corojo 99 tobacco. There is some Criollo 98 in this blend, but most of the cigar comes from Corojo 99. There is just so much to enjoy with this cigar. I bought a box. I'll probably buy another when I can. This is just a phenomenal, well-balanced, surprising, and dynamic cigar. Lots of intricacies, lots of nuances and layers, and every time I smoke the cigar, it seems to get better and better. Construction is great, draw is perfect, smoke texture is amazing. If you haven't tried one of these by now, you're missing out, and hopefully you can still get some before they're all gone. This is a cigar that I will always try to keep in my humidor and will seek out actively after I am done making this list. This is just a fantastic cigar. It's the best I've ever had from Warp Cigars, and it's one of the best I've had in some time. Coming in at 95 points, the Black Mango by Warp Cigars, the number one cigar for Jonas Cigars in 2023. There is the list, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enthralled. I hope you are maybe even shocked with controversy. I don't, know. I don't know about that last one, but I hope you enjoyed this list. And as I tend to do, I am going to be giving one lucky hashtag Sago VIP winner a whole selection of all of the cigars featured in this video. Yeah, including the honorable mentions. So one lucky winner will be getting this particular lineup of cigars for 2023. Uh, that'll be announced later next week, I believe, uh, as we get into January. Thank you so much for joining me for this list breakdown. It's been a great year. Can't wait to see what 2024 has in store. There are so many cigars to enjoy in so little time, but I hope you'll stick it out and join me as I smoke these cigars moving forward in 2024. Here's to another great year of cigars and hopeful for another great year in 2024. See you on the other side. Have a great happy new year. Till next time, smoke a good one.